Look at that face. It's so dirty. We got to get it clean, huh? No touching. No touching. Say hi. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Today, we are just trying to get the garden watered and uh, little miss lady here doesn't want to um, let me properly water things so she keeps grabbing the water hose and she doesn't realize that her face is so dirty but that's fine so I can show you everything that I've got going on right now in the garden and what my plans are going forward this garden season. <laughs> oh my goodness. And uh, yeah, talk about our plans and how things have been going and the changes and things like that so hold on a second here we go I had intentions of moving my garden bed my garden space over here to where the compost is but we have decided to change that up so the compost area is just gonna have beautiful flowers and there's weeds growing in there that I gotta come and get out. But yeah, I did two areas with a bunch of different things. So we're gonna see beauty on one side and beauty all around us. We went, we moved the birch tree that wasn't doing very well. That one's amazing. We got more vines and we have to get ready to put them into the ground soon. I can't do that, but we're gonna be working on that soon. Little Miss Lady over here really loves to pull on the leaves and all the flowers. What? Nice touches. So I'm working with her on just Trying to get her to do nice touches so she's not pulling on them. Hey, what you doing? Ma'am? Let it go. Let it go. Okay, so I'm back outside now. It got way too hot for me and, um, felt like I was going to pass out. So, I'm back out with my hat and hi. And my little fan to help keep us cool. Huh. It's actually really loud. I don't know. So I don't, you know. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. Okay. So, um, right now what I can do is update since I'm feeling a lot better, I'm not going to get up and move around and walk around because it's way too hot. Have it. And um, just talk about the things that we have planned. So, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so, I'm sitting here where my original raised, <laughs> raised bed is. And I had, my husband and I, we talked about moving the garden just closer to the compost pile just because that makes more sense. Um, and then, Lise. <laughs> He's so silly. And then, um, after thinking about it and talking about it, um, we decided to just... Um. Okay. Sit, sit. 
This one's right here, okay? You want the fan? Ooh. We just decided to keep the garden area where it is and um, uh, fence it off still. So, um, I have seeds that I had already planted that I, you know, I started getting going. And, uh, so I just put them yesterday and then this morning I just put corn. I have corn in my raised bed, green beans. Red. I put pumpkins. I have eight pumpkin plants. Uh. They're going through a bit. The bigger ones are going through a bit of like transplant shock right now. Mommy. Um, so, Mommy. Thank, Mommy. thank you. So hopefully that um, they pick back up and they don't actually die because they're doing really well. And I should have taken a picture of them before. No, before I planted them so you could see. But they they looked really well. Okay. Um. Stop. <laughs> So, um, yeah, we just decided to keep our garden area where it's at, just to, because I already have a bed, I already have a no-till bed, and I'm just going to be adding. Okay, I'm back, and just had to let my, had to let my camera charge a little bit, and I was starting to not feel good anyways, and I had to go pick up my kids from school, so, with that. Um... So I think I was saying, um, we're just going to keep the garden in the area that we already have it in. Just makes more sense that way and I realize like this is dark and you can't see me. So hold on a second. Stomach on, 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 on debut. Um, yeah, so we're just keeping things where is and just gonna be getting I probably need to put more I probably should have put more soil into this raised bed but I needed to get some things planted and right now my pumpkin plants which look so good before I transplanted them they don't look all that great right now so let me show you what they look like real quick okay this is few hours after I transplanted them. See how they look all limpy and they got water and everything like that. And this row right here, these three, um, I planted those yesterday. But Annalise came in here and she stepped on it. So I'm not sure if they're going to survive. But what I'm going to do is get more pumpkin seeds and just plant them in here because I feel like I've gotten the soil and some certain and certain amendments in there and it looks really good i did my corn i only have six corn right now and i want to actually put some more in there so i'm gonna do a bit of a succession planning like i have the green beans that are all the way in the back there's my collard stuff back there too and my borage seed that just my borage flower that got huge I didn't plant it there just like the marigolds that are growing back there I didn't plant that there either um they kind of just self-seeded so I just let it do its thing <laughs> um I did plant borage here and then earlier in the corners I got I uh, did some sunflowers and marigolds in the corners too, and I'm probably going to put more sunflowers in the back. So that's that. But yeah, so I'm getting all my thing, my area ready. Probably won't be using this bed, this no-till bed that I made. I took the flowers out of there and had moved it over there. So that's the grass is growing back in there that bed over there I um I think it was last week before we had so much rain 
I went and dug up like all of the dead grass and the weeds and there was roots in there that were just massive that we took out well I took out and um yeah now it's just resting and I have to get more soil to put in into it and everything like that to kind of fertilize you know to get the soil ready because I'm going to put tomatoes and like if I can get the jalapeno plants to go and um maybe and some okra um and then I have more spots that I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do because I have cucumbers we use cucumbers a lot so I'm trying to grow things that I am trying to grow things that my family uses and we eat a lot of like tomatoes and cucumbers and things like that um, but I also really just want to grow things that I like you know that we don't necessarily eat but that I want to try and like add into our diets and things like that so we'll see we'll see we'll see my grass needs to be cut in the back but the idea is that we're going to fence off this garden area. I'm just not. Um, I'm just not sure where my husband is in charge of that, and I'm just in charge of growing things. So I just gotta figure out. I know what type of fence that I want to use to, you know, get the garden um section off because of you know this little person this little fur critter right here you know going all over everything so I'm just trying to figure that out plus Grumpy's trailer is in the area where I could be using it for you know I just don't know I don't know. <sighs> I just wanted to get things planted, even though I am 31 weeks pregnant right now, and I have not not much longer to go on baby number five, but I wanted to still be able to just enjoy coming out to the garden area and things like that, and just really you know it's my happy place and I really enjoy planting things and seeing them grow like there's nothing wrong with going out and buying the starts already but I don't like doing that I like buying the seeds myself and then planting them because I figure because for me that's how I learn how to take care of them is if I grow them from the seed instead of from the start so yeah but the area over there by the compost it's like full sun like all day long and it doesn't get as wet over there when it rains like it does on this side so that was the whole reason why we decided that we were going to do the garden bed over there but then my husband wants to get a shed and so that would probably be the best spot for the shed because it doesn't get wet over there and it's not going to rot, you know, or anything like that. So I'm, ex I'm excited about getting my garden growing and just trying to see if I can convince him to, you know, let me expand a little bit of this garden because I feel like if I do it to where these braid these no-till beds are this one right here and that one if I like come if I come like the gate is like right in here I'm losing I'm losing space I'm losing you know I'm, I'm 
I'm losing <laughs> space. And I, you know, we're about to be a family of seven, and I want to be able to just buy, not buy our fruits and vegetables at the store. You know, obviously I can't have chickens and, you know, farm animals right now because we live in an HOA, but I would still very much like to not depend on the grocery store for fruits and vegetables. And, you know, that's what I love about um, gardening is that it opens up the door for that, you know. So, hopefully I can get things the way that I want and kind of just like a gate in it, um, it fenced off before I have a baby, so that way, you know, maybe like a week or two after I have the baby, <laughs> I can come and just like sit into my garden area and just enjoy, you know, the fruits of my labor, so, but that's, that's where I'm at right now, and I really, I'm really trying to just not push myself too much, like right now, like I feel really good being outside, it's not too hot, I'm like, it's, the wind is blowing, you can hear all the cars, because, you know, people are coming home, and, and things like that, and, you know, sitting under my trees, um, so it's not, it's not too hot, and I feel really good right now, so, this is, that's what, you know, what I love about gardening, is that you, you find a, a space, create it, however, you know, you en you envision your little area to be your little safe space outside of your your home, which is also supposed to be your safe space. You know, so um, yeah, I'm just really trying to envision the way envision what I want without really going like above my capabilities of what I can do right now at this moment being 31 weeks pregnant so there's that but yeah hopefully I can hopefully my my pumpkins <laughs> survive and because they were doing they looked so good in the little bucket that they were in and um I know plants go through their own little like transplant shock, so I just really hope we also live near people who have hounds or something, and this is something that we hear all the time, even in the middle of the night. <laughs> but it's funny too because the dogs are going off and Willow's not even reacting to them. She's just, eh, you know. But, um, yeah, so this bed that's right here, this no till bed that's right in front of me, this one right here. Ah, uh, you can't see it. Okay, there we go. This one right here, I, my last year I had cucumbers and watermelon and I have fruit in here and I, um, will probably not use that that I don't know I'm not gonna do that again because I I didn't like that so I'm trying to make it to where one bed is for certain things and then go for now hey that is it for now. Thank you for sticking around and joining us on our journey. And as always, hope you take care of yourself. Bye-bye.